My name is Kylie, I use she, her pronouns, and I am a producer and coordinator. Um, I make $60,000 a year, I have $10,000 in savings, and no debt. Hi, I'm Taryn, I also use she, her pronouns. I am a production designer, actor, and music coordinator, among other things. This is my first year as a full-time freelancer, uh, so I am hoping to make around 25 to 30K. Um, I am $7,000 in um, student loan debt and then 2,500 in credit card debt. And I have no savings and I have $70 in my retirement. Hi, I'm Friday. My pronouns are they, them. I am a freelance filmmaker. This is my first year being a full-time freelance filmmaker. I'm primarily doing editing, writing, directing, and just kind of gigging around on sets. I have $57 in my bank account, $0 in my savings account, and $100 in the stock market. Looking at you, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> so currently we live in Crown Heights in a four bedroom, one bath, but one of the bedrooms is used as an office that we share. Yes. Our rent is now $3,150, but it is raising next month to $3,700, and that is rent that we all split. <laughs> We truly, like me and Friday, because we're freelancers, we pretty much break even every month, yeah. if not <laughs> losing no, <we> have. money, <laughs> um, which is pretty wild. If someone just had to pay rent and they like really couldn't, we make survival soup. <laughs> yeah, we make survival soup and we really make sure that like we're taking care of each other. A big thing we also do is we get each other jobs. Mm -hmm. So if one of us books a set, we're immediately trying to like pitch the other people. Yeah, I'd be like, hello. Um, so I already have a friend who I think would be really amazing for this job. Yeah, literally. And, yeah, literally. <laughs> I think when we moved into this space, we knew that we were looking for somewhere to live long term. We knew that it was going to be more than a year. We knew that when we were looking at bedrooms that they needed to be big enough to have a desk. And if not, we were going to find a fourth bedroom. We have a production company called Fruit House. And sometimes we'll be like out in the living room and catch ourselves talking about it and we'll be like no fruit house business is in the office yeah so true we really like things to look really nice but we also are conscious of how much we're able to spend on mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. and also with where we're sourcing things from everything except the couch in this living room is from either Facebook marketplace or the side of the road the trash or like goodwill or yeah I mean a we friend have, seriously I mean we get love to like feature our friends' art in our space. I feel like we should define what trash means. Like, have you guys ever gone dumpster diving? I'm not like digging, th I'm not like opening up trash bags, <laughs> but like if it's even like kind of dirty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, right, it's not necessarily finding things in the trash. It's like a lot of it sometimes could be somebody, it's on their stoop and it says free on it, or it's yeah. next to a few bags of trash. <laughs> So my room is definitely giving like treehouse jungle vibes. I really love the kind of medium wood. I'm really into, again, finding pieces either in the trash or on Facebook Marketplace. So this is my open spaces entryway rack. This is like my pride and joy. I told myself that I wanted one of these so bad and I literally, I manifested it because these things are super expensive online, but I found somebody who was getting rid of it and it was $80 and these things can go for like 200. So I, this is like a steal and I'm so happy that I found it. This actually used to be my mom's paper cutter. So she is like a crafter and makes a lot of like cool art. And I repurposed it and turned it into like an earring holder and sunglasses holder. So this dresser is my absolute pride and joy. It is probably the most expensive thing in my room aside from my mattress. Um, but I got this from a secondhand like vintage store. It's like a mid-century modern. This curved look is just so stunning. The ledge here is really amazing. And it also has the dovetailing. So that's how you know it's like actually like legit real beauty. Oh, and this, oh my God, this is crazy. This is just a curtain. And I just decided to hang it to kind of give like a canopy feeling, which I feel like really gives the whole like treehouse vibes. But I literally just pinned it up and then tied it to the overhead lamp, which is 
wild, but I'm very proud of it. This side table has been in my family for a very long time. My grandfather actually stooped this and then it was in my parents' house for a long time. And it's gone through like many different iterations of colors. Like it was orange and yellow for a while. And then when I got it, I painted it black and then I just painted it green recently. Um, and this piece of cloth, my parents went to Africa for a wedding and they brought that back for me because they couldn't afford to take me and I couldn't afford to go myself. I love my space. It's really important to me that I get to come in here and feel really at peace. I painted it so it's like a lighter green on top, a darker green on bottom. When we moved in, I realized my, my room probably has like the least amount of light other than the office. I at first was like trying to find a way to like make it brighter in there. <laughs> and I just sort of instead decided to lean into it and just really make it like a cozy vibe. Altogether, I didn't really spend that much money on the interior design in here since most of it was thrifted or found or like, I bought from my friends or, or did a trade with. The biggest expense would have been to get somebody to, to help me kind of put it all together. Um, but luckily I have really good friends. So I have this record player like from when I went through that like weird Tumblr phase in high school and I just sort of kept it around because I have a pretty decent record collection at this point and I love being able to turn it on and like not have any like screens going. Here I sort of just have all my like knickknacks, things that like make me feel really at home, really cozy. Like I have my parents' wedding photo and some like family pictures that I just like to keep up here. The rug I got from Wayfair, I would say like two years ago. I really like it because while my room does have like a lot of earthy textures, it kind of gives something different. I also like love having people in this space. Like my hamper doubles as like extra seating. It just, it's nice that like we can all sort of just pile in my bed and watch a movie. like when we were wanting to hang out, and especially with me, Kylie, and Taryn, we're definitely a cozy bunch. Welcome to my room, the minimalist space. One of my favorite parts of the room is that I have two windows, even though it leads to a brick wall. When we decided what rooms we were all gonna get, we all knew that Taryn was gonna get the south facing window, so that's only one room in our living room. Friday and I had our landlord flip a coin for us when they gave us the keys to the apartment, so that way it was completely fair who was going to get the bigger room. So here I am the winner of the coin toss. <laughs> Something else that I really like about my space is the color that I decided to change the wall to. I love warming colors. So it was really important for me to get a little bit of that serotonin into this room, especially when I cannot get direct sunlight myself. So when it came to designing the room with a little bit more me, well first, when it comes to storage, I like things to be hidden but I wanted this space to have a little bit more pop of color, so I keep some of my books out. And then these two photos that I have are from my friend Olivia. She is a photographer, and she also has some photos in our office as well. These are specifically photos that we took at a gorge in Ithaca, New York, and it just reminds me of a really fun, beautiful summer that we had. So along with these more curated photos, I also have a couple of disposables around my room, including this one baby photo, this very dusty baby photo of me with my parents. I have a younger brother, but he was not born yet. So this is, this is just for us. So I am six foot tall with the knees and hips of an elderly man. So I have a lot of sneakers that I go for. I also love walking. So I always gravitate towards sneakers versus like a nicer shoe. Um, recently, I got these pairs of Air Jordans and I'm really obsessed with them. These are really colorful and fun. And they just like still elevate an outfit without it being too fancy. So I wanted a place to display postcards, something really simple. So I had this cork board for a really long time and just kind of threw it up. It was also a really good way to put up my jewelry as well. So I've got some photos of my brother and uh, some of my friends, my uh, friend Candace and I went to DC to go see the Reed at the um, Issa Rae event. So I was really excited about that. We got some art as well. And my friend Tess just sent me this card and inside she just said something really beautiful about being deserving of love and it made me cry. So I love, we've talked a lot about community today and I just feel like that is an amazing example of just having people around you who you have found as your family. And I love that just being a constant reminder of that. 
We love living together. We've found like a really great roommate dynamic. Mm -hmm. It's so true. And I also feel like, I don't know, you wanna you wanna buy a building and we can each have a floor? Yeah, we, we would love to like own property <laughs> together because everything really like aligns with like how we wanna live, which mm -hmm. is like communally and like anti-capitalist mm -hmm. and like all, we share a lot of values that really go into our home and our mm -hmm. community. Yeah. So it would work compatible for us to like own property that we could like, you know, make Together great. Together forever. <laughs> <laughs>